Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and you guys, I'm here today to bring you an impromptu video. Uh, this is me at the end of a very long day, so if I already look like pre-disheveled, I apologize. It has been quite the day, but I pulled you guys over on Instagram and asked if you wanted to see my thoughts, opinion, review, so on and so forth of the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics lipsticks and everything that was kind of pertaining to that. And overall, I got a yes. I think it was at 72% the last time I saw it. And uh, I just decided, you know what, we're going to sit down, we're going to do this video right now just to get it out there for you guys. Now, I can tell you, if you've come to this video for tea, drama, for this, you know, crazy exorbitant, my opinion this and this and just over-the-top dramatic explanation, you're not going to get that here. Um, I was trying to think all day about how I wanted to do this video and how, if you guys wanted one, how was I going to represent this and do this in a way that would still represent the facts and my opinion, but do it in a way that I believe best represents me and and how I would want this handled if the shoe was on the other foot. And I think that I've come up with a very fair but also unbiased because I don't know Jacqueline. I paid for these. You know, this is still an unbiased normal review for me, but I also want it to be, like I said, something that would represent me and how I would handle something like this. So, the way that we're going to attack this first is as a straight review. Um, not like, a, oh, let's go in and like, let's look at what's on the lipsticks because that's what everyone is doing. And I can respect and understand why other people are doing it the way they're doing it. No tea, no shade. However you want to do it is up to you. Um, but for me, I was just looking at all of these reviews and I feel like so many of them were only put up for the sole purpose of that dramatic thing and I personally wanted to pull a different tack. I wanted to review Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics overall my experience from the beginning to the end and explain to you guys what was good and what was not so good and to kind of dive into my entire experience with the brand and this entire situation. So what I'm going to start off with was actually when I ordered these. Um, I know that for a lot of people the ordering process was quite a doozy and just to kind of dive in and start there um, I did have the same experience unfortunately. It was very much so a add it to your cart. By the time you got to check out, it was already sold out, went back and forth, and it ended up taking me, I believe, 40 minutes to check out, I want to say, which is quite a lengthy process. Um, again, no, I understand like servers were over overloaded and whatnot, and things were selling out, and that, that wasn't so much my issue. My issue was that every time it, the stuff wouldn't stay in my cart long enough for me to purchase it so it ended up taking me 40 minutes out of a work day to purchase these and I was sitting there thinking what if I was on lunch what if I took a break what if I ran into the bathroom real quick to order these um, all of these are very real-life situations for a lot of people that work during the day and it would be very difficult for them to go in and purchase their stuff if that was the case for them um, so that part of the ordering was very frustrating now just like uh, several other people I also paid the $12 expedited shipping at least that's what it was for my area and um, after I believe like a week or three or four days or something they sent out the mass email that said hey ain't nobody getting expedited shipping so we're gonna go ahead and refund that to you now as a consumer I really appreciate that I like that they didn't make us track down our money and say hey we want it back I really appreciated that they were upfront with that and you know that they just they gave you back your money um, to the flip side of that what I didn't appreciate though was that thousands of people did request expedited shipping and with that being said the balance of the people that ordered might not have requested expedited shipping and yet a lot of people that didn't request it got their stuff and people like me who actually wanted expedited shipping we sat for literally almost two weeks to the day with no lipsticks um, these were ordered on the Thursday that they launched I did not receive them until two days ago so this past Tuesday um, which is I think 10 or 11 days or whatever but it's almost two full weeks so it'd be 12 days now I will tell you guys right now I'm not gonna go and like pull my receipts and flash them on the screen and like prove all this stuff because the reality is first of all a majority of you are already here because you already know me and you trust my opinion and I'm not I don't feel like I need to validate that you guys know I told you I bought them I bought them I bought them when I said I bought them and if you want to believe me cool if not if you want to be skeptic that's fine too um, but nonetheless I did purchase these the day they were released 40 minutes after they were released I believe it well, I got my receipt in my email and that was marked at 42 minutes after for what it's worth now the reason this is so significant is for me that 12-day window is completely unacceptable mainly because as like I said a small youtuber we are 
so, so limited in our reviews. And that's why when a product goes out, you will notice my review is up like within one to two days. And it's because as a small channel, it's already so difficult to gain exposure and to gain uh, noticement in the algorithm of YouTube that without getting our reviews up really, really quickly, we will be passed over for every view every single time. And so for me, I take my time frame very, very seriously. Now, getting into the actual lipsticks themselves, the packaging, the presentation, this part, I was actually very happy with. So these are the lipsticks. These are the unicartons right here. Um, the unicartons themselves I think are really beautiful. I like that they have raised detail on them. They're very like quilted on the front. I think you guys can very lightly see that. Um, they're a nice unicarton. The box isn't flimsy. It's a nice like sturdy box. So the presentation on these was really really nice. I love the simplicity of the design whether it's the unicarton or even the lipstick. I'm just a really big fan altogether. The lipstick itself is very true to her aesthetic. It's definitely something I would expect to see. Um, I like the diamond detail on top. It actually feels like a very similar weight to a Pat McGrath lipstick and those have that really decadent little pair of lips on them and they just feel luxurious when you hold them. This has that same feel and I really like that. So for me, packaging is an A+. plus. It's beautiful. I even love the little buckle right here, the JH buckle. Now a lot of people are saying that this right here is indicative of how old these are because, you know, she was Jaclyn Hill, now it's Jaclyn Cosmetics and this was before the divorce so it was at least over a year ago and da, da 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 you know all of these theories are kind of speculating at this point and I'm not going to speculate whether or not it is Jaclyn Hill it was before I can't say any of that I don't know I wasn't in the lab I wasn't in the room with her when she was talking about this stuff all I can tell you is that from a packaging review perspective I do enjoy these and that's what I'm here to do I'm here to review now diving into what everyone I'm assuming wants to know the most um the actual hairs the lipsticks the nitty-gritty all of that stuff um I actually had several ways that I tried to go about this for you guys. I went ahead and I purchased the little microscope here. This was the little handheld microscope off of Amazon. They're very inexpensive. And when I purchased this, I actually purchased this for me. I had no intention of using it in a video of any kind, mainly because I wanted to see for myself what's on my lipsticks. Because if I am even going to ever consider using these lipsticks, again, not knowing what I was going to see, these lipsticks or other lipsticks, I was like, I want to have one of these just so I can look around for myself. I thought it'd be fun. And then, of course, when I got it, I did what everybody did. I started looking at my eyebrows and my eyelashes and my toes. Like, I just started looking at everything because I thought this thing is the coolest thing ever, right? So, I had no intention, moral of the story, of using it in a video. Um, then I sat down and I rolled up one lipstick when they first came in. Originally, I was going to get the bag, the package. I was going to open it on camera and I wanted to show you guys like look I'm doing this all right in front of you and I started thinking about why I didn't want to do that and again it all boils down to I didn't want to do that because I don't want to be one more person that's just doing this for the view that's doing this for the clickbaitiness of it um, I just I don't know for me that just didn't settle right so I went ahead, I opened them. Now, I will go ahead and throw up a couple images. I did find the little tiny holes that everybody finds and a lot of those little hairs all over these lipsticks, uh, various lipsticks. Um, of the. I did pick up five shades, by the way. I don't think I said that. Um, I picked up the shades as if mom, gossip, control freak, and fussy. Now, I did go through and I have a little footage of me pulling out hairs, like the actual hairs themselves with tweezers, because I wanted to see, personally, do those hairs run through the product or not? Like, are they something where it's wound into it? Are they only on the surface? Are they just in one area? That was kind of something that I wanted to explore, so I did go through and I took several shots of that. I'll go ahead and throw in a couple right here. Um, it's nothing that I want to have, like, a whole 10-minute segment on, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in and just it's just little clips it's from the office um, of me just pulling those out real quick okay beautiful people so here I sit going through and uh, dealing with these lipsticks now this right here is the shade gossip there is the close-up of the bottom obviously I have not put this on my lips nor will I um, this is how it came so you can see in the center it has that nasty little water spot deal and it does of course have all the little hairs and the fuzzies now, alrighty so here is the next one you can obviously see it's got that hair over there, it has a hair on top right there. I shouldn't really call these hair because I'm not really sure what they are. There's another one up on that side. They look more like nylon fibers than anything. Um, and then this is the shade As If. And I'm thinking for this one, I wanna start off up here. Yeah, see, that was just a little hair. I don't even know. It's Oh, it's stuck in it. Okay, so that one was nothing. 
From what I'm seeing, though, a lot of these, not that it makes a difference because we don't really want anything like this in our lipsticks of any kind, but if it's any consolation, from what I'm seeing so far, none of mine have been, like, buried in the lipstick, which is nice. I'm going to grab this one from the back right here. Yeah, no, that one was just a little surface guy, too. He's actually still on the tweezer. You can see him right on the very tip down there, right there. So that one was short too. Now this lipstick I'm throwing in here just so you guys can see. This was the closest one to perfect. There is a hair like right in the dead center. But the little holes were not nearly as like concentrated on this one. There's a couple of holes that I don't think you'll be able to see on this camera. Up on the ridge right here. Um, but for the most part, again, other than that hair in the dead center or that fiber in the dead center, there really wasn't anything else. It was the smoothest out of all of them. Now, after seeing that, I do also want to touch on the smell because a lot of people were reporting that, you know, some of them have a really nice smell, some of them smell rancid. Now, I went through and I smelled all five of my lipsticks and they all, within, I would say, like a five degree change, they all smell pretty similar. They all have a very nice, like, sweet vanilla-y type smell. This one right here, Mom has a little bit of like a crayon wax smell to it, but the rest of them smell pretty sweet. Again, just a nice, normal smell. I don't think it's anything special, I would say. But from the little segment of me kind of pulling out those hairs, I was left, you know, thinking to myself, like, what, where do I want to go from here? What do I want to do? Do I want to go through and, like, start taking these apart and, like, slicing them and dicing them and, like, oh, I wonder what treasures I'll find in the middle of these lipsticks, you know? And, and I really kind of weighed it back and forth, like, what's important to me? What do I want to do um, with these? Where do I want to go with this review? Do I really want to, like, hone in on this whole, like, what's the tea? What's the drama do I want to go there or not and for me every time I thought about it I I kept getting drawn back to this place of like like Paige if you have to ask yourself if you want to go that route then that's not the route you should go and I think the way that I wanted to round this video out and the reason I wanted to approach it this way was because I wanted to be fair um I feel like we are at a place in the beauty community where we still aren't learning our lesson, where everyone is still attacking everyone, and there's just this huge cancel culture, and there's all of this going around. And don't think for a second, by the way, that I'm like patting Jacqueline. Um, I think that maybe the way she's handled this isn't correct, but I'm also not Jacqueline. I'm not sitting there with the information she has. I'm not the one that just launched a brand, which is like the scariest thing in the world to do, and then to launch it and have something like this happen and have literally hundreds of thousands of people like hate you and hate your product and be so angry with you and and I understand from her side of it there is only so much she can do but I also don't want you guys to think that I'm like letting her off the hook and I'm patting the situation because I don't 100% agree with how she's handled it but I also don't think that you know I know she's had other issues in the past but this is her first launch with her first makeup line that's all her um in the past it's been like a collab with Morphe, Morphe or a collab with Becca or a collab with somebody and there was a way or someone there that was probably helping her fix it I would imagine and with this it's a hundred percent her and it's her name and it's her reputation I think it's important to remember and for all of us to kind of center back to the point that at the end of the day regardless of what you think of the launch the lipsticks what happened how she handled it all of those things regardless of it she's still a person at the end of all of this like they're still at the end of this very long converging road where there's all of these people that bought all these lipsticks hundreds of thousands of lipsticks they are all converging all their thoughts opinions hates well wishes whatever it may be they are all converging on one person not a company not a place not a thing a person one single solitary person and for me it just didn't sit right with me to come on here and ignore that fact and, and I'm not saying everyone else did but it just seemed so dehumanizing to me so I guess for me the way that I am going to end this video overall is that this isn't just another Jacqueline review um, I will tell you that the shipping wasn't my favorite ordering wasn't my favorite but I can understand I've had similar issues when other sites crash whether it's just Free Star or a big launch on the Alta website or whatever. Um, similar things have happened, so I'm not mad at that. Hell, even the Beautylish website, and you guys know how much I love Beautylish, and even theirs crashed on me before, so I get it. Things happen. I'm not going to be too mad at that. And honestly, even the colors that she chose, yes, I know it's nude, and a lot of people hate it, a lot of people love it, whatever your opinion is. I love nude lips. I think they are some of my favorite. I wear them literally all the time. So, the actual product, had it not been damaged or whatever's wrong with it, had there 
there not been that issue, I honestly probably would have loved these. Now, diving into what I think a lot of people really want to know from me um, is what do I think of how everything kind of went down? What's my opinion? Um, here's the situation. When it comes to giving an opinion, which we all know the saying, everybody has one, right? Um, when it comes to giving my opinion on this, here's where I struggle. I can look at this with the limited amount of information I have as well as the limited amount of information the rest of the world has and I can say, oh, well, this is what I would have done. This is what I would have done. But the reality is we don't know her situation. What if she reached out to the lab every five minutes for the last week and a half and they wouldn't reply to her or, or they no one would get back with her? Or what if this happened or what if that happened or what if she was attacked by, you know, flying space monkeys? No, nobody really knows every intricate detail enough to be in that line of fire for all those hundreds of thousands of people that are converging on her, nobody knows what it's like to sit in that seat. And when I came down here and like sat down to do my review, the one thing I didn't want to do when I decided to do this was go into this with a, a hateful mentality. I wanted to go into this as if I were Jaclyn Hill and what would I want someone to say? I would want someone to sit down in front of their camera. I would want them to give me a real opinion absolutely. I would want them to tell me what they liked, what they didn't like, but what I don't think is helpful in this situation is getting into something over and over and over again that we've all already seen, that we've all already heard. Um, and I, that's not me trying to be like the good guy that just perpetually loves everybody, but it is me trying to say I'm almost 30 years old and I don't want to be caught up into this perpetual cycle of hate. I don't want to be that person and I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that. Um, I know what it feels like when everybody gangs up on you and when you can't do anything right and when you just feel like a piece of crap and I can't imagine that launching your your own makeup brand for the first time and then having this happen I can't imagine she was in a very good place these last couple of weeks and if anything as even as a consumer someone who on five lipsticks spent over a hundred dollars I think it was like a hundred and two I want to say or something when it was all said and done with tax um, someone who spent all of that money and and more like I would have I would have honestly bought more if I could have gotten my hands on it before it all sold out and got taken out of my cart. Um, but even as all of that and as a consumer, I at first I felt cheated and I think a lot of people felt kind of duped. They felt a little bit like, oh, well, what the hell? You know, I feel like she's trying to take advantage of me. She's not saying anything. She tweeted out the other day, I'm going to break my silence soon. Um, but prior to that, you really hadn't heard much of anything. And she clapped back a couple of times at people on Twitter and like, oh, you have crusty lips. That's what happens when this, that's what happens when this. And the whole time this was going on, I kept looking at her as if she were my friend. And what would I I, what would I want in a friend or how would I do what would I do if she were my friend in real life honestly I would look at everything she was saying as she's in a really bad place right now I'm not saying it's, it's an excuse to clap back as not only a fan but a customer someone that purchased your product I'm not saying that's okay I'm not excusing the behavior but I think that that's what it was I think it was coming from a place of hurt someone who everything is falling down around them someone who is grasping at straws to try and maintain not only something that she's been working to create for so long but also someone who's trying to fight going back to a place where maybe she's really insecure. Maybe she has a huge insecurity when it comes to um, where she came from in life because we all know, or at least from what I've seen on the internet, and keep in mind, by the way, I should preface this, I'm not the type of person that like stalks other people on the internet, so I don't know everything about her and her past. I do know I heard her talk about it a couple videos ago, maybe maybe a year ago, I don't know, but I did hear her talk one time about how uh, she didn't have much money when she first got started or any money and she was pretty broke and she was broke her whole life growing up or, you know, not broke, but she didn't have a ton of money and maybe there's a part of her that was insecure secure in those moments on Twitter when she was clapping back and when she was, you know, avoiding this or doing that. Maybe those moments were her being insecure. And I say this because I know that if there's something that hits me right in the right spot, and I become very insecure about something, my first reaction for several years was to immediately bang, like get somebody, I need to strike somebody, I need to make it so that way I hurt less or it takes away that insecurity from me. I need to find a way to drown this part of me out that says I'm a failure. And with everything going on around her and everything that was happening and all these you know, tweets and all these videos and things firing at her, I just can't imagine that she felt particularly good. I would imagine she felt like a failure in that moment. I would imagine 
decision that she felt like, wow, literally everything I've ever worked for is in question. My Everything about her as a person, think about that. Everything about her, her morals, her integrity, her brand, her love of makeup, even if you want to look at her and say that she is the most selfish, that she is the most yada, 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 right? No matter what, she does have a love for makeup. She has a craft, an eye, and a care for it because otherwise she would not have been able to build an entire career on it. And I just, I can't imagine that even at the end of all that boiled down that this would feel good. I can't imagine that she'd be in a good place. It would be so difficult to even maintain a level head, much less a good place. I would imagine she probably spent a few days in tears where she didn't want to leave her house. That's what I would imagine. And at the end of all this for me, I kept thinking, what would I do if she was sitting right next to me? Like, how would I handle this? Truth be told, I would probably be in my pajamas. I would want her in her pajamas. We would drink a cup of coffee and I would give her a hug and I would let her be upset and I would let her cry and I would let her have that moment because as a person, as your person, as your soul, as who you are, that has to supersede this stuff. That has to supersede lipstick. That has to. And I'm not saying it should supersede public health and I'm not saying that it should go above and beyond your customers or their money or their financials or their care, their worries, anything. I'm not saying that because all of that is very important but for one moment I would want her to be still I would want her to feel like not everyone was against her for one moment I would want her to feel like she had a friend with me and like it was okay to be who she is and to be vulnerable in that moment and out of all the videos on the internet and out of all the p things people are saying about her um, my video in the grand scheme of things probably won't matter but I wanted the opportunity to give it to her and to say that this is your moment Jacqueline this is this is all I can give you is this moment um, it's just just one more review but I wanted it to be different um, out of the thousands of moments that she's had in the last two weeks she probably didn't get many moments where it was just someone that didn't hate her and I wanted to give her that moment um, does it not mean does it mean I'm not disappointed no I am disappointed these aren't good they're not what I expected as you guys saw there's little things in them I won't be using them I won't even swatch them um, they looked good from what I could tell on my tweezers the colors were nice the pigmentation was good um, but will I use these no I won't that doesn't mean, though, that I'm going to sit here and take that frustration out on her. I don't feel personally victimized by this. Um, I think a lot of people, when it comes to money and us buying products, I think it's easy to get wrapped up into this mindset of you almost feel like someone came at you personally, like they took your money personally and now you expected something, you didn't get it, and you feel personally wronged. And I can understand that completely because as somebody who buys endless amounts of products to review on this channel and try to get ahead and it's difficult. I get that feeling all the time so I understand where you're at and as a customer I am 99% more likely to sympathize with the customer than with the owner um, but I'm also in a very unique position in my life where I am also in in real life I'm a business owner but in here I'm on YouTube and then on YouTube I'm even an influencer and a customer so I try to see everything from every single perspective business owner to influencer and to customer and and so as I sit here, as a customer, I'm disappointed that things weren't what I had hoped they would be. Um, I'm disappointed that it wasn't great, um, but I'm also a human and I know that like things happen and humans happen and she's going to break her silence and she's going to give us an explanation. And when it comes down to what is in these lipsticks, guys, they could be horrible, awful bacteria, flesh eating, you know, gonna eat your face off in a minute bacteria. It could also just be nylon fibers. It could also just be gas trap holes. It could also just be plastic chunks, not just be, but it could be plastic chunks. We don't know what it is because we haven't seen any definitive samples. We haven't seen any definitive anything for what this is. And I refuse to put someone under fire and I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying whatever's in here is great. I'm not endorsing the use of these lipsticks in any way, shape or form. What I am saying is that I refuse to get on here and hate someone publicly and shame them and, and put one more nail in her hurt coffin when I don't even know definitively what these are. As a customer, I'm disappointed. As an influencer, my heart goes out to her and I'm sad. Um, we're not even close to the same scale. Like I'm, I'm a tiny little speck on the scale of what she is as an influencer. But as an influencer, my heart still hurts for her because I can't imagine what this would feel like. As a business owner, I'm 
a little confused at her actions. I'm a little bit, um, a little bit curious about how she's chosen, why she's chose to do certain things. Just because I know, again, as a business owner, you have to make certain things. You know, for, you have to do certain things, otherwise you're liable for this, and you have to do this, otherwise this, and X, Y, Z. And a lot of being a business owner is just pro con, pro con, pro con constantly. I don't feel like I am going to be cheated because yes, it sucks, but at the same time, they did say that they're giving people refunds. All you have to do is contact them, but. I think for me it's like a lot of people get so hurt by this and I'm not hurt by this I'm hurt by this I'm hurt by a community that will attack its own uh, before she speaks and yes she's had plenty of opportunities to speak I'm not saying she hasn't um, but she hasn't spoken yet and I don't know all the facts and I don't even know for, for how long has she even known all the facts if at all um, so I don't I don't know for me this review was less about the lipstick and more about explaining my perspective on this entire situation. And I hope that going through this um, isn't super boring for you guys. I know it's a lot of talking and a lot of like, page, there's literally not even a swatch in this video. Um, but I just hope that you guys were able to take something out of it. Even if it's just getting to know me a little bit better, getting to know my perspective, I'm okay with that. But yeah, you guys, those are my thoughts. I don't... Um, I'm not even going to sit here and pretend to act like the comment section are going to be great. I definitely want you guys to leave me your thoughts and opinions down below. Don't forget, you can check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. They're both linked down in the description box. They're hyperlinked, so all you have to do is click them, click follow. And don't forget, if you haven't done so yet, you can also subscribe and turn on your post notifications for this here YouTube channel. I do upload five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in northern Michigan every single day. So if you're new here, you can find us every day with good, fun, fresh, new content. And you guys, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. My hair looks so scraggly back here by the end of the day. Look at this. Looks like sad little willow branches or something. <laughs> you know what we could talk about, though? How cute are Jaclyn Hill's dogs? <laughs> so cute. I'm almost out of Diet Coke with light ice. This is not a good situation here.